Hi everyone, it's Justin. I didn't realize we are in 2021. I worked between Christmas and New Year, so I didn't really have a break. In Germany, we're still in the lockdown. It got extended again. So it's more of the same, really. It feels a lot like 2020. <laughs> and so for a couple of days, I was in a complete rut. And I asked you on Instagram, do you have resolutions? Some of you said, I don't have resolutions yet. Can't be bothered. One said, same resolutions as 2020 <laughs> because everything got cancelled. Uh, one said, I want to try to care enough to try to care, which sums it up pretty well. It feels like I'm not the only one having a slow start, so I want to share with you all the fantastic input that I got on Instagram because when you're in a rut, it's very helpful to hear other people's opinions. I grouped all that input into five big topics, so I will go through those themes. And then I will share with you my own resolutions. First topic, a big share of your resolutions have to do with mental health, which is not surprising given the current situation. There is this concept that I love of circle of influence, circle of concern. The smaller circle is what you have control over, and it's in a bigger circle of everything that you're worrying about, your circle of concern. You want to reduce the size of that circle of concern if possible, to the size of the smaller circle to reduce stress, anxiety, frustration, etc. So many of you right now are basically focusing on accepting that you can't control everything. I'm quoting from your input. Take day by day and be grateful. Be thankful for something every day. Let go of trying to control things. Go with the flow. Be kind to self. Be kinder to myself. It's a different thing. Radical acceptance. Every time I have to wait, I take a deep breath and let go of the tension in my body. No more planning a year ahead. Then I see many comments that are about choosing to be positive and to take action. For instance, reflect on the good things that happened to you in 2020. I should do more of this one. <laughs> my new year resolution is to write down one good thing that happened every day. A year of no complaints, only taking actions, finding single linings or letting things go. Try to be more positive, even with COVID restrictions. Talk less, listen more. Be happy with what I have whilst working for what I want. Choose one or two habits to work on every day for the next 30 days. Repeat every month. Peace of mind is also about setting boundaries relax more, remove unnecessary thoughts and get back onto my own vibe. Or kick two toxic people out of my circle. That's a smart thing to do. Creating a positive environment is another possibility. Two examples. Design sanctuary spaces in my apartment, within your four walls. To add more colors on and around me. Conclusion. I realized today, in 75 years, I'll be 100, so I have 75 years left to do my best to be happy. That synonym of if you can't change the world around you, change yourself and the way you see the world, that's extremely wise. The next category is well-being and sports. We've got everything from leisure sports to extreme sports. <laughs> Quote, lose the weight that I gained from last year. Hike 520 kilometers and read 21 books. I get the 21 books, but why 520 kilometers? Mystery. Get a six pack. Be able to bench press my entire body weight. I don't think I can bench press half of mine. Go bouldering at least twice a week. Ditch unhealthy carbs. Next thing you know, you're at Ninja Warriors. <laughs> Though I feel like this year, more of you are focusing not so much on athletic goals, more on overall well being. Um, in your daily life, I would say. Get out of the house at least once a day. Extremely essential during the lockdown. More yoga, more cooking, less screen time. Drink more water. Eat more ginger for that extra tang. Is tang like a boost? Probably. Quit smoking. More morning barefoot walks on the grass. No phone in the bathroom. Yeah, I also have a no phone in the bedroom rule. I sleep better. <laughs> in terms of goal setting, it's helpful when you have a measurable goal, basically a number somewhere. For instance, I've decided to stretch after breakfast each day. 
Write and Dance every day for 30 minutes. Yoga with Adrienne, 30 day challenge, which is a month where you do yoga every day. 200 days of no sugar, fingers crossed emoji, <laughs> fingers crossed. Then someone said, wear more lipstick. I had to put that in the video, obviously. I highly encourage wearing lipstick. I'm sure it makes you happier. One lady said she plans this year only one thing and that's giving birth. That's enough for a year, you're right. <laughs> the next theme is learning new skills, learning in general, whatever you're learning, and creativity. Many of you want to learn a new language this year. It's good because even if you can't do it live, you will be able to at least take online classes. So it's, it's a safe goal that you can actually bet on. For instance, pass the French B2 exam. Learn French. Completing level A2 in a new language. Learn Spanish. Learn a new language to be determined. All the skills on your list include learn to saw, learn web designing, stenography, that's in German, start drawing again, paint more. Practicing creative hobbies is proven to make people happier, probably more than wearing lipstick, I'm afraid. And it's proven that when you make it a routine, something that you do on a regular basis, it fosters your creativity and your balance in general. That's why the book, The Artist Way, which I love and highly recommend, insists on you doing those creative exercises, those assignments, every single day to create repetition because creativity boosts creativity. It's a virtual circle. And intuitively, you know that because I saw resolutions like less screen time, more time creating and crafting, practicing an instrument for 30 minutes every day, write something every day, start to write a diary. Those are ideas, but the field is endless, really. Then reading more often seems to be at the top of your lists. Read for 30 minutes every day. Read 20 books. Read at least 10 non-fiction books. One person even said, I want to read 52 books this year. Go. And learning can actually also be very hands-on and just for fun. For instance, cook all the recipes in one cookbook. Learn a new cocktail each month. Try a new recipe every week. Finish renovating my house by myself. Next theme, it seems that 2021 for many of you is going to be a huge pivotal year in terms of career and or finances. For instance, create another stream of income online. That's always a good idea if you ask me. Release my book and translate it to Portuguese. Change careers. Bought a pattern making course, now building my brand improve skills and get a job abroad. Then I added one which is not directly related, but could be, depending on what you put in it. Do at least five things that I'm scared of doing. Apply that to any area of your life, right? Then pay off my debt. I want to enroll in a PhD before 2022. Go back to college, finish my degree, ending my master thesis. Investing in yourself and in your qualifications always pays off. It's one of the best forms of investments possible. Next one, many comments show a switch in your consumption behavior. In terms of style, to start with, after months of work from home and wearing pajamas, <laughs> you want to start a capsule wardrobe, curate your wardrobe, wear clothes that actually fit, in brackets, I'm a chronic oversizer. Knowing it is half of the problem already solved, Find my own clothing and fashion style. Though I am 180 centimeters tall, I finally decided to buy heels. <laughs> Some people want to take the matter into their own hands. I want to sew my own winter coat. Never sewn a garment before. I'm very excited. Be more skillful in mending or upcycle my clothes. But the change is not only in the way you dress, awareness for sustainability and ethics is also constantly increasing. People are realizing how much power they have, even though they are individual consumers. I think it's a wonderful evolution, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Buy nothing plastic. That's a very ambitious goal. Go zero waste. Zero pieces bought coming from fast fashion brands. Use the things completely that I buy. Don't buy anything that is not useful, needed, and save up. 
And generally speaking, there is a clear trend towards owning less and buying less. Avoid mindless shopping came a lot. List three items on eBay every day. That has to be the Marie Kondo effect, right? That's 85 New Year's resolutions out of the seven or 800 that I received on Instagram. I was so inspired that after reading yours, I sat down and boom, I wrote down mine, my resolutions and my goals. Here we go. I have an overarching team that I called, for lack of a better word, work less, live more. I don't need to do that additional project. I don't need to say yes to that extra opportunity that I might miss out on. What I need is more free time (laughs) to do things that inspire me, that nourish my soul and not my to-do list. I want to focus on expanding my horizon. That means increasing my awareness of other cultures, diversifying my sources of information. For instance, I want to watch more movies from countries that I've never been to. I'm currently watching a series, which is Korean, in Korean, (laughs) with German subtitles, it's sporty. I'm learning so much about the way that culture works, about the way they formulate things, about the interpersonal relationships. It makes me even see my own culture in a completely different light. I want to travel to one country that is not in Europe, if that's possible. Improving my design skills. Every year I try to do some kind of further training. Last year I had a class of two weeks booked in a design school in London. It got cancelled. So I'm hoping that I will be able to take that same class this year in London. We'll see about that. If it's not possible, I won't get mad about it because I don't have control over the situation learning new skills. I want to do a Spanish class. Ideally, I'd like to do it in Spain, if possible. I have friends in Madrid that I could visit at the same time, so it's social and skills. Two in one. If not possible, I will do it as an online class, but I will work on my Spanish this year, for sure. Sports goal. I want to be able to do one pull-up. Don't make fun. I never was able to do a pull-up. I wanted like a full one without the elastic band, eh? from full extension to having my chin above the bar. In my case, it means a lot of training up to that point. So it's really quite the milestone. (laughs) Fun goal, (laughs) learn some makeup skills. I'd like to be able to do a proper smoky eye. It's proven that writing down your goals helps keep you accountable and also motivated throughout the year. So in the video description down below, you will find a template that is printable, that is based on this video and that you're welcome to download and use. Amend it, change it, make it yours. If you need inspiration in terms of the skills and hobbies that you could learn this year, I recommend Skillshare. It's an online learning community with thousands of classes from beginner level to pro level and everything in between. They have classes in photography, creative writing, fine arts, may it be painting, illustrating, lots of things, graphic design, crafts, etc. This is my little personal selection for 2021. So far I have two classes about makeup a class on decluttering, interior design, plants at home. I took it because it says uplift your spirit and your space. This is exactly what I needed. How to talk about art, looking forward to this one. The list will grow throughout the year because there are always new classes coming in. And if you click on one class, you will see each class contains the videos, transcriptions of the videos, exercises. It's super well structured. Normally Skillshare costs under $10 a month with an annual subscription, but since they are sponsoring this video, you get a free trial with unlimited access. This offer is for the first thousand of you who join Skillshare using this link here. I also put the link down below in the description if you want. Thumbs up if you got some ideas from this video. Thank you very much. And please let me know what your resolutions are in the comments down below. Are you the sports type? Are you more into culture? Are you going to try to read more? What are you going to focus on this year? Oh, and in case you've missed it, I will link here in the corner and down below my previous video. I shared my entire skincare routine in one video. Boom. (laughs) I'll see you soon in a new one. And until then, happy new year. Bye.